You'd think this would be an amazing experience, staying in one of Vietnam's most popular beach destinations, Nha Trang, with one of the most beautiful bays in the world. Like anywhere in Vietnam, friendly locals, great food, just one problem. We're in the middle of a pandemic, and just when you'd think it couldn't get any worse, we are about to enter one of the strictest lockdowns in Vietnam. Unless you're staying at work, you're staying at home. No going out. A new world full of green, yellow, and red zones, delivery-only groceries. And if you must go out and have the right documents, encountering checkpoints, and if you're alone like me, complete isolation. Every moment must be cherished, like a ride on a friend's motorbike to go shopping, because who knows when you'll get a chance to do something as routine like it again. Looking at bare streets might become that trip to the Maldives you've always wanted to do in no time. It's sad, but it's the reality we're facing in a fight to hold off this pandemic. Give up your walks, your bi-weekly visits to the supermarket with your coveted shopping passes and stretching out that visit by wandering through aisles you have no business being in just to stay out a little longer. If you're lucky, you'll at least have a view of that world-class bay or perhaps a serene river view. Or if you're like me, you'll just be settling for long gazes into the sky or across to your neighbor's building. I'm John Sabo. And these are my Far East travels. Oh God, this can't be good. First thing in the morning and the hazmat suits, or as some people refer to them, the bunny suits are here. Testing on my street. And we were just tested last week. Later, I find out they tested our hotel manager and cleaning person because they have had contact with most people in our building. Makes sense. Signs are up and once testing is complete, depending on the outcome, our street will become a green zone. The warmer colored red or yellow zones indicate more serious evidence of infections. So green zone sounds pretty good. At this point, I'm still unaware of what was going to happen, only thinking that I must be lucky to live on a street that's a green zone. I venture out with a shopping pass to find some more food. Not in a hurry and no need, I was thinking to overbuy as I had another pass good in just a few days. So I walk the streets of my ward and I notice more streets and lanes taped off, appearing to be unwelcoming, or are they all just green zones? Places where there's no evidence of infection. As I looked around, it was really unclear as to what was really going on, and I couldn't really get any answers at this point. As I'm walking around, I'm still feeling kind of unsettled, uh, a little bit unsure about everything. I don't know what to think. I mean, when you go out for a walk and you see nothing but streets taped off, how is that supposed to be good? 
After a couple of visits to my local market with unusual lineups, I decided to make do with what I still had at home. Why go into any store with unusual traffic when I can just wait a couple of days? Big mistake. No restaurants have been open for weeks, and I'm eating more packaged noodles and doing more meal preparation than I have in eight years of living in Asia. Not being able to order spring rolls, banh mi, and amazing local vegan dishes has felt like I've lost one of the great joys of living in Vietnam. It's a simple pleasure, never to be taken for granted again. One of the best ways you can make these instant noodle dishes more appealing is to give them a little love with some local ingredients, including a locally made famous ingredient, Nha Chang fish cakes or chaka. Fish cakes or chaka are made from seasoned ground fish. They are the perfect lockdown staple. You can put them in sandwiches or these noodle soups. This is nowhere near as good as a bowl of local fish cake soup with thick rice noodles, but it's not bad. Actually, with this Korean-style seaweed noodle soup, it's pretty good. Some half-decent food, a balcony, and a beer, a simple pleasure, can help curb the boredom of social isolation. By the way, help, not cure. Beyond this point, getting food would become more challenging than ever with the need to almost completely rely on delivery service. I'm kind of getting numb to all of this, just everything. The noise that might normally bother me just becomes a part of the environment. Nothing more. Maybe I'm learning something here. I'm becoming a better person. Or I'm just starting to withdraw. Either way, it's okay. The beer helps. One of the most interesting things I've learned living in a neighborhood like this during this lockdown is it's full of locals that intuitively look for opportunities to make a little money. No matter what the conditions are, green zone or any zone. Those voices also sell noodles on the side and beer, fruit, vegetables. And to be honest, I'm really not quite sure what kind of shape I'd be in if it wasn't for them. This is the essence of the Vietnamese spirit. Stoic, strong, making it work no matter what gets in their way. Forgive me if it sounds like I'm still learning. It's a delivery day in social isolation. So I'm feeling a little bit better knowing I've got some meals for another few days maybe. Something a little extra too. Like everyone else, just waiting for it all to be over waiting for, I don't know, a miracle.
Hey, thanks again for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, thumbs up, please. More videos, not just lockdown videos, all kinds of videos from Vietnam, East Asia, Southeast Asia, and South Asia. So do subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support the channel, that'd be pretty cool. There's a couple of links in the video description below. Check those out. Thanks so much in advance. We may get some social isolation measures lifted soon. We're hoping for that, hoping for that in your area, wherever you are as well. Please be safe. We will get through this. And in the future, I wish you safe travels. Namaste, Tashi Dele, and peace from Vietnam.